everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is MJ Pinky. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about what my critique group said about my edit of chapter 28. Um, this was the chapter that had a lot of gore and horror and visceral descriptions of death, um, which were pretty well received by everyone in the critique group. Everybody had um, pretty good remarks to say about, you know, how it was written and um, the imagery that it invoked um, as they were reading it. So I was really happy to hear that. Um, one of the main critiques that I did receive, though, was that the buildup to my characters coming across this was a little disconnected and a little weak. Because um, I had made mention that there were signs that something was wrong um, from a distance, that they could kind of see that this doesn't look right, but then I did not include any like anxiety or them like speeding up a bit um, to see what was going on. It just kind of read like they were like, oh, that looks like it could be a problem. And then just kind of strolling along um, like normal. So that, that was definitely uh, inconsistent there. So that was good feedback. So I'm gonna go back and make that clearer and, and build that tension. And then there were a couple of questions raised about the POV character in this chapter and just kind of like how a little self-centered they were. I kind of want the expectation set that when there are atrocities that happen, this character is not really going to respond in, in a heroic way and not in the heroic way that this character thinks that they are. You know, this this character wants to be the good guy and defeat evil and do the right thing, but then like his actions and his thoughts um, when he has those opportunities are a little different from his own expectations. The feedback that was raised by my critique group was good feedback. It's kind of where I want them to be, um, but I'm going to put a pin in it to come back to um, later because I'm going to have a couple beta readers read the book from start to finish when I have completely edited it. And one of the things that I'm going to make sure is consistent and cohesive from start to finish is the characterization of my characters. So I'm going to put a pin in this one to come back to and specifically ask the beta reader about um, and just ask them like, hey, like, did this work um, or was this kind of out there and needs to be toned down a bit. I'm gonna leave it as is for now though. That's pretty much all I have for you guys and yeah I'll have my next chapter edit uploaded soon so stay tuned for that and I will see you then. Happy writing!